three, two, one. Hi everyone, welcome back to this episode of We Chill on We Talk and you know already that we have a lot of exciting things um, in the pipeline for you guys. On today's show we're going to be talking to Garth Williams, also known as DG Fantasy and he's going to be telling us a little bit about his journey. Um, he started when he was 12 years old and ever since then he's had an immense passion for DJing so yes stay tuned for that and also we have a new segment so hold on to your hats we're going to jump straight into the new segment and then we're going to keep you um, entertained for the rest of the show joining me on the news segment so right now we're going to jump straight into the newspapers and on our front page already um, on the Namibian Sun we're going to be looking at some of the ministries that are panicking because of a possible um, strike by the civil servants so the civil servants haven't received a salary increment in five years and now they have demanded with their unions of course for a nine percent increase from the government which is the employer and so far the government has um, declined that um, yeah, chosen not to to offer that nine percent increase and some of the ministers ministers yesterday like the labor minister um, wanted to remind the civil servants to think of the children if the if services are going to be delayed, then this is going to have a major effect on the learners, you know, especially schools and also the healthcare sectors. Um, so they were prompted, the civil servants were prompted to just think about their children and seeing that these are hard economical times for Namibia, the m government has asked that the civil servants take that into consideration, seeing that the students that were, or learners were already out of school for numerous amounts of time during COVID. And then on the front page again, once bedfellows govern us in Laranja, but heads. So we're talking on the 1st of December 2021, Independent Patriots for Change Councillor Jürgen Hecht nominated Landless People's Movement member Sade Governors for the position of mayor in Bentuk. And then Laranja also of IPC seconded the nomination with no other nominations made for the position governors as ascended to her mayorship. Uh, first forward seven fast forward sorry seven months later and governors and Laranja are deeply divided accusing each other of all manner of things. Yesterday governors accused Laranja of trying to score cheap political points after she held a press conference on Monday to brief the media about why she believes the process of appointing a new CEO for Vintuk was flawed and must start afresh. And um, let's just move along here. Um, governors walked out of that press conference at which Hecht gave a lengthy briefing about the sad state of the city's finances. She convened her own press briefing yesterday at which she lambasted Laranja for having an unsanctioned press briefing and at which she differed with her on an issue of appointing the CEO. Okay, let's move along to page three. 
um, 600 students benefit from MTC internship program. This is a program that was started in 2019 and um, MTC wanted to um, empower interns so that they can empower students so that they can have internships, fully fledged internships, uh, which will then later help them graduate. And um, a total of 600 students have so far benefited from MTC's national internship program. The telecommunications giant has now called on other corporates to pledge their support towards the program, which started in 2019, as I said, with a 7 million budget. And it aims to assist between 160 and 1,600 students per annum. MTC's, MTC's Chief Human Capital Officer Tim Ekanjo yesterday said the company is now ready to upscale the project and to become a national vehicle uh, for internships. He said, and I quote, MTC and the Office of the Prime Minister will collectively contribute two million per annum. So two million and a million dollars per annum will be contributed to this program. So we are looking for other corporates out there to come on board with a contribution of at least 200,000, he said. Ekanjo further added that Nationally, 48,000 students are in dire need of internships to graduate. He further said, and I quote, while this reality can be viewed as a checklist for benefiting graduates, internships in general also answer to hostile requirements from the industry that only opens doors to graduates who have a shoestring of experience. And um, if you're young and you're, you're a student or you're about to graduate, you understand that um, these pro pro projects of this magnitude is really um, what we need. For the on page three, green hydrogen. Gain Gop says the hour has come. Africa has the potential to become a key player in the global energy market and the continent should embark on policy convergence and regulatory reforms to unlock the potential of renewable technologies in green hydrogen, President Hage Kainkop said. He made the remarks yesterday while virtually delivering a speech at the opening of a second renewable energy forum of the African Renewable Energy Initiative held physically in Cairo, Egypt. He said, and I quote, green hydrogen is part and parcel of Namibia's long-term decarbonization agenda. He further said that we are focusing on achieving large-scale, low-cost renewable energy development. To this extent, we intend to become the front-runner as a continental green hydrogen production hub. The president added that publicly or policy govern, uh, convergence sorry, and regulatory reforms in African energy governance architecture are crucial to unlock the potential of renewable technologies in green hydrogen, wind projects, solar power and low carbon generation capacities. He says, and I quote, yes, the time is right to do the right things. With the right kind of collaborations and partnerships, the time has come to ensure that no one is left behind in our ambition of energy for all, he said. Let's see if we have something on sport. Um, let's quickly check here. There's one on page seven. Could Creel be the bolter for Colby's spot? Hmm. Much of the decision will be determined by who is selected at fullback, but it won't be the first time that Creel has popped on the wing if the box do this, or rather go this route. That's a little bit of international sports. And then there's something here on more home ground. Athletes suffer with consequences. Racism, nepotism, crippling Namibian sports. Veteran Namibian coach led to Hamolo has accused the Namibian National Olympics Committee and the Namibia Sports, Sports Commission for failing to protect the interests of non-elite Namibian athletes from favoritism and racism as well as hate against them. So you can have a look at that. I hope that you will have... So yes, you can have a look at that in the Namibian Sun newspaper. Um, stay tuned for the rest of our program.
Welcome back everyone, it's Elizabeth and you're joining us for We Talk on our chill segment and I'm joined with another guest today, Garth Williams. He'll introduce himself for you guys that already know him. Don't spoil the fun, let's listen to what he has to say because it's it's quite exciting. Hi Garth, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Great, thank you. So tell us a bit about yourself. Who are you? When did your career start in DJing? Okay, my name is Garth Lee Williams and I go by the name of DJ Fantasy. Mm. And I started my DJ career at the age of 12 years old. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, um, it's true. So the, it started uh, at that time. My father owned a club in Komastal. Mm. So everything happened from that time. I was interested in the, in the DJ mm. thing. So um, he knew all about music and he, he, he's the one that teaches, yeah. to, told me all, all, taught me all about DJing and that stuff. Lovely. Yes. So then, uh, with what did you start? Did you start with like, uh, you know, they have those big sets and things that uh, those terminologies. Did you start there or did it start yeah. small? It uh, back in the day, it was the cassette tapes, mm. and my father used to record me this um, cassette tapes, mm. and I we used to walk around me and my friends with a boombox, mm. you know, <laughs> with the speakers, yeah. and put the cassette in, we listen to the, the music and what, mm. what, what. So he's the one that bought me the uh, the boombox mm. and um, it started all with the cassette tapes and then it moved us from the cassettes to the CD mm, to the and CDs. so on, yeah. Then you but would write on the, the CD, CD, I remember that. Yeah, but um, he also had vinyls mm. at that time, yeah, and so... He had the vinyls, the the, 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 the turntables mm. in the club, mm. so it started all day for me. So I I've, I've learned to to DJ on the records and and I started from there. Until yeah. then, you yeah. haven't stopped. I haven't stopped, and the my passion is 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 I have a very uh, good passion for mm. it, and I love it. What I'm I'm mm. loving it. What I'm doing. Mm. You know. And, and do you play like at, at, at any place, you know, can, do people then call you for gigs and stuff like that? Yeah, I play a lot. Uh, back in the day, I used to do it a lot. Mm. But now I have a full time job. I'm a driver at Nampost, a mm. courier driver. Mm. So it's a bit difficult to do the things now in the week and so on. Mm. But um, I, I still love my job and uh, I, I'm, I'm doing it every weekend. So every weekend I'm... Uh, get call outs to go play at the club mm. or for weddings, birthday parties. I'm always available for that stuff. Okay. It, yeah. And it's and the feeling never changes. I, f I think when you are there, when you're busy, when you see the crowd is responding to your music, I don't think it ever changes that feeling. Yeah, that feeling never changes. It never changes because the music, the love we have, for, the love that I have for music is so, is so much, you know, uh, it can't stop. Like nowadays with the internet and everything, you just want to be out there. Yeah, <laughs> and it, it, it's entertainment. I feel for young people especially, we're always out. And it's it's amazing if you can connect with, with your crowd yes. like that. Because we like connecting with a DJ. So if yeah. a DJ is dead, then I don't think anything Yeah, there's happen. no vibe or so going now, on. Yeah. yeah, now what will you tell um, another young person out there that, that wants to get into this career? What are some mm. of the challenges that you can highlight and some of the, the strong points okay first of all you must have a passion mm. for the music you must have passion for music and uh, like me I've started at an early age mm. I loved music so much and um, you must have a passion for music and uh, believe in yourself mm. and uh, that's what always driv drives mm. me to this uh, this hobby of mine you see and yeah uh, you must just have a great passion for it and yeah, you can do anything. And anything. it never feels like work when you're passionate. Yeah, it's it's it, it never feels like work uh, mm. because uh, when I'm out there DJing, I'm enjoying myself mm. and I love to see the, the crowd enjoying themselves mm. at the same time. You yeah, know? Lovely. Okay, um, if you have anything else you can share with us, let people perhaps know where they can contact you um, Yeah, so that they can get... Okay, um, people can contact me on my, my cell number 081-352-8912 or you can go to my Facebook page DJ Fantasy. I'm also on Facebook and on Instagram and also on Twitter. I'm also there mm -hmm. and yeah. 
you All can right. catch me on social. And people can then start booking DJ Fantasy for the events, yeah. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> because he, this man, you can clearly see, he loves what he's doing. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned to We Chill. You know that every episode is very special to us, so stay tuned for the next one. Choose. Today's life hack is for the pet lovers out there, especially the tiny pets. So if you have a pet hamster or a squirrel or um, whatever, you can uh, put a frozen bottle of water in their cages during the summer heat. It's lovely for them to lean against and just to cool off a little bit. I hope that this helps. Bookings for Namibia Tourism Expo 2022 are open. The expo will take place from 3 to 5 November 2022 in Vinduk. To secure your booking, visit nte.nmh.com.na and for more information on the expo, follow all Namibia media holdings platforms. The expo is supported by the Ministry of Environment, Tourism and Forestry, Namibia Tourism Board, Fenata, City of Vinduk and Namibia Media Holdings, Namibia Tourism Expo, taking tourism to the region. today's recommendation we will be heading to the Capricorn group and they have a great talk on the future of finance lined up in August. The Capricorn group is hosting a talk the future of finance with mega trends that will shape the financial landscape presented by Colin Isles. New converging technologies have opened the possibility of financial system that is distributed and democratized challenging the need for traditional banking. How will our financial experiences change over the next decade and how will IT teams support this change is one of the topics that would be discussed as well as should we expect a series of minor improvements or be preparing for fundamental shifts and what IT skills are needed in financial institutions to address these challenges. In this session, Colin Isles will be exploring the technological and societal megatrends that have the potential to fundamentally transform the finance landscape. So join them and stretch your thinking for a world where the opportunities are truly exponential. This talk will take place on Friday the 12th of August at the Hilton Hotel from 8.30 until 10 o'clock and the cost is absolutely free. So join Capricorn Group and stretch your thinking for a world where the opportunities are truly exponential but please RSVP by Tuesday the 9th of August on their Facebook page for more information. A little bit background of the speaker, Colin Isles is of Innovation Catalyst and he helps courageous and curious leaders find new opportunities with disruptive interventions in inter innovation, culture, leadership and strategy. He also offers 21st century leadership courses and the results can include having a purpose-driven team, a renewed passion and curiosity from your team leaders to explore new ideas that will help your organization adapt and thrive, as well as having courageous individuals who are ready to risk standing up to take the sometimes contrarian view to ensure your organization does the right thing. You can also expect inspirational outcomes and accelerated transformation. So if you and your team is ready to take the plunge, then don't miss this event. Proudly brought to you by the Capricorn Group.
Hi everybody and welcome back to Flex. Now I'm Jeanette Dirkhardio, presenter for Flex and today we will be doing some stretches that will help you if you have any lower back pain. So we're going to start off with a yoga pose called the cat and the cow stretch. So you go on all fours and what we first do, you really stretch through that shoulders, you stretch that spine. This is also going to help wake up your spine and then we bring toe. This is... Um, I think this one is the cat or no this is the cow yes this is the cow and then we go into the cat stretch okay so you really want to push out that glutes have that hollow back make your back really hollow and bring it up again okay and now we're gonna do a bent knee stretch again so basically you're gonna lie on your back both legs both knees bent and you bring it up and try and hold it there for a bit so always try and keep your lower back on your mat or on the floor whatever you prefer and now we're going to bring it out again okay and up again so really do that stretch have the stretch deep into your back and really feel it okay and keep the movement controlled the whole time okay guys that will bring us to the end of that stretch i will see you guys next time Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we are welcome to another exciting edition. Thank you guys so much for keeping it locked on We Chill and We Talk. I hope you guys had a lovely experience with us today and you should stick around for the next episode. Till next time.